everyone. Today is April 3rd. April 3rd is C, so today we're going to be talking about corsetry. Now, corsetry is a very big subject, and we can't go over it all in a really short video. So I'm going to show you some books where you can learn to do corsetry on your own. These are some of my favorite books from my collection. First off is The Basics of Corset Building by Linda Sparks. Now this book is the book you need to get if you're wanting to learn how to start in corsetry. It has some great pictures and illustrations of how you do many different things from cutting out a pattern to putting in a bust to what boning is and where you need it. So there you go, The Basics of Corset Building by Linda Sparks. Great book. Now, if you can't get that book, there's The Little Corset Book by Bonnie Hold Ambrose. This book is cheaper than the other one it's got some basic techniques for some very basic corsets. It won't get you as far as the other one, but it is cheaper. Next up, The Corset, A Cultural History by Valerie Steele. This is not really a making book, but it's a great history book. You can find out about corsets way back in history up to current times. She goes into fashion corsets, she goes into current haute couture, so, if you want to learn more about corsets, but not how to make them, this is a great book. Next is my favorite eye candy book, called Corsets, A Modern Guide by Valerie Lauder. It's English, I believe, but it has all these pictures of different corsets through it. They're beautiful, they're well made, and if you want some eye candy, this is the book you should get. Next up, Wasted Efforts by Robert Doyle. This book has a lot of diagrams of historical corsets in it, but it's really based on doing a body block, so if you don't know how to do a body block, I would skip this book and get the Sparks book. But if you're going to go more advanced in your corset making, this is a very good book. Next up, Corsets by Jill Salem. This is another good eye candy book. It has lots of historical corsets in it so you can learn how they were made and how they were decorated. So if you want to learn more about historical corsetry, this is a very good book. However, it's not as good as Corsets and Crinolines by Nora Waugh. This is like the corsetry bible for historical corsetry as well as historical hoop skirts. She goes through and diagrams historical corsets and historical hoop skirts, shows you the pattern so you can make them yourself. She doesn't scale them for you, so you have to make them your own size, but if you can do that, that's a very good book. It also has some quotes from extant sources about corsetry and hoop skirting. Finally, we have Underwear Fashion in Detail by O'Leary Lynn. This is total eye candy book. It shows close-up pictures in large pretty color detail of corsets from the period and what they looked like. So it, you can look at the Nora Wall book and get the diagram, but this one shows you the color and the stitching and all the great details that go with that. So there you go. This is my corset library. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're inspired to go out and learn a little bit about corsetry. Corsetry was my first real costuming love, so I'm it's very near and dear to my heart, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. I'll see you back tomorrow. Tomorrow's D.